Well, the Kennedy assassination, the killing of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Marilyn Monroe's suicide, the UFO landing at Roswell. All are issues that have been front page news and all are issues that share something else. They and dozens of other stories like them have been at the center of theory after theory about conspiracies. Tonight, Monica Robbins looks behind the smokescreen and finds that some people believe these things because conspiracies fill in the gaps. We interrupt this program to bring you a special bulletin from Dallas, Texas. Three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade today. Do you think Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone? Because I think that's a conspiracy against uh, John F. Kennedy by the uh, mafia. One person probably shot the uh, gun, but another person, I think, really killed him. The government always covers things up. I think it's a bunch of people, like in the government, planning to kill him, and they just gave one guy the blame for it. What about Marilyn Monroe? Did she kill herself or was it murder? I believe she was murdered because, um, well, you look at all the affairs that she had and the uh, uh, triangle she had with John F. Kennedy, and um, she probably knew too much. Murder. Why? She knew too much. What did she know? JFK. Did a UFO crash in 1947 in Roswell, New Mexico, and did the government cover it up? Regardless of what you may have read in the tabloids, there have never been any spacecraft recovered by our government. <laughs> There's no recovered spaceship. Oh, excuse me, Mr. President. That's not entirely accurate. This universe is too complex. There's no way that we can be in this universe by ourselves. That's how I feel. Would your government cover it up? Oh, without a doubt. They don't want everybody running around getting all crazy. Oh. Yes. Definitely. Why do you think that? Why would you want them to tell you that there are aliens here? I wouldn't. And what about Elvis? Is Elvis still alive? I hope so. I hope he's in Vegas. I want to meet him. Elvis is dead. People need to get a grip. Elvis is dead. Oh, Elvis is gone. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> Why is it so easy for many of us to believe in a conspiracy? I think there's a tendency for people to question. I think that's human nature, that it happens, we all question, we all wonder, and conspiracies provide answers. We're in the midst of the information age. Theories run rampant over the Internet. The X-Files became a hit TV show because it questions what we've accepted as truth. It was a violation of the most basic protection codes we have, and it is the best indication of a massive plot in Dallas. And Oliver Stone's movies profited off theories that muddy the waters of what we once believed. But there's more to the reason why we believe in conspiracies. Our own government seems to be behind many of our unanswered questions. Do you trust your government? No, I don't. I mean, all these things are like, it's possible that it could happen because the government's not straight. Ken Collins has a master's degree in American popular culture. He believes our mistrust in modern times may have begun with the McCarthy era. The communist conspiracy was really embedded into American psyche, right into our culture. Uh, it was very prominent. Uh, there were searches for communists in governments, uh, searches for communists in Hollywood even, education, even in our religious institutions. So it was a very major uh, foundation, I think, for thinking about conspiracies in modern times. Collins says the Kennedy assassination and the Vietnam War made the 60s a time when what tied us together came unraveled. I think we really began to think of people not so much as individuals, but as members of groups. And perhaps our innocence was lost with this former president. Well, I'm not a crook. Perhaps the Watergate, quote, conspiracy is probably the one that really left a lot of people really disenchanted with government. When there's a lack of information, when it's slow to come out, uh, when the information that does come out is all of a sudden changed, uh, people begin to get very suspicious. We're a society that conquered much of the unknown, but we also continue to demand answers. And when the questions can't be answered, conspiracies fill in the gaps. Monica Robbins, News Channel 4, Columbus. <laughs>